as a former vice president of Taiwan and as an epidemiologist at Academia Sinica, I'm very happy to be taking part in this important gathering. Taiwan approached the United States, Belize, Germany, Indonesia, and Senegal for jointly convening the second global COVID-19 summit. We fully support the goals of this meeting to mitigate the impact of the pandemic protect high-risk populations, and build health systems to tackle not only new variants of COVID-19, but also to respond to future health crises. Taiwan is a small island with a big heart. We have provided significant international humanitarian assistance to fight the spread of COVID-19. Thanks to public-private partnerships, since April 2020, Taiwan has donated a total of 70 million US dollars in medical supplies to more than 80 countries, including 150,000 doses of Taiwan-made medicine vaccine to Somaliland. I'm glad to announce that Taiwan pledged to donate a further 1.5 million US dollars to support vaccine coverage. We also commit to continuing to provide medical masks PCR testing machine, oxygen concentrators, and other supplies to countries in need. COVID-19 has shown how a global health crisis not only threatens lives, but can also undermine democracy, human rights, and good governance. The Taiwan model is an example of how a modern democracy can work transparently using technology to fight the pandemic. We will continue to cooperate with our democratic partners to share this experience with the international community. Together, we can strengthen health systems, renew democracy, and uphold human rights. Together, we will build back a better world. Thank you.